Hey, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by. I uh, just got some stuff here that's coming up on the channel, and I wanted to kind of go through everything in case I don't do a unboxing or whatever, or just, you know, reviewing the individual piece. Uh, I just kind of want to go through what's going to happen on the channel, some of the things I'm working on, and uh, I just want to thank everybody that commented and, and sent feedback on the last video to help me uh, kind of create some more content that's actually useful, like you guys actually want to know uh, something. Um, some of that feedback, I'm still processing, writing things down. Um, I'm getting emails in as well on top of the comments, so I really appreciate that. It, it's, it's inspiring me to kind of get motivated to do these things, so uh, as long as I'm helping somebody out there then I'm, I'm happy to continue doing this. So these are the things coming to the channel. And I might go through an individual component here uh, that you won't see a review of or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is a good good way for you to see what's coming up on the channel. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what's going to happen here. So let's start off with some props. I got some Avan 3 2 by uh, 2.4. So these Avan props are what I found was was really efficient and really worked well on a uh, 1206 size motor. Uh, they also seem to work pretty well on a 1408, uh, like the Triton motors that have the the T-bar, the two screw holes. So I got some of those. And then also, I got some 3.25 um, HQ props. I was kind of curious to wonder what performance difference there are. So I got a couple sets of those. And then I also got some 3016s. These are really light props. They're a three inch, but they're, the pitch on them is, is really, really, uh, you know, 1.6. So it's pretty small. And that's what I'm going to use on these. I felt like these motors didn't perform that well for me because I was running them on either a two and a half inch uh, motor, I'm sorry, two and a half inch prop, um, or I was running them on a really aggressive uh, three inch prop, and it just didn't didn't seem to set set so well with these motors. So I'm gonna try out these uh, smaller pitch props. So these are the the Sing Nano motors. Okay, so, and then of course, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of this stuff. I'm, I've used, uh, you know, a handful of things, and, and honestly, once I came across this stuff, it, it was a done deal. I like it. So, it's sticky, but it's not too sticky. And uh, I got a fox here. I ordered some, uh, some heavy-duty antennas, okay? Let me pull these open real quick here. So this is SMA. Okay, it's got the pin inside there. Let me see if I get a close-up here. Okay. So SMA, right hand, polarized. And they're 59 millimeter long. That's something I ordered because right now on my 5-inch, I'm running this, this stubby out the back. And I just feel like I'm not getting, I'm not getting, I flew tonight. I got five packs in tonight. And I noticed when I would turn around, you know, the battery's kind of hiding it. So if, if you can see here, so that's SMA. So now I should be, I should be, should be good to go getting that just a little further away from the frame. So I can't wait to see. Is there really a big difference here? I mean, I mean, honestly, is it worth, you know, spending the money on? I actually need this for something else, so I needed to do something, so I ended up doing this, okay? So, if I didn't need this, I would probably just roll with it. But I wanted to try and see if I can get some better signal strength. So, if you're interested in that size of a, I don't know if you could see that. Kind of give me an idea how far it stuck out. Because I'll be honest with you, I was having a problem looking at 
you know, what size would I want, you know? So 59 millimeters, what, what came in this box, there's two of them. So that gives you an idea how, how far it sticks out. Okay, so that, hopefully that'll be, that'll be nice. Oh, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Looks like, uh, looks like my thread's not sticking out far enough. If your antenna is spinning freely on your, on your, uh, connection here, then you're not in all the way. It should be okay, technically, because that pin should be inserted, but honestly, if that's spinning, that's not connected all the way. So I have, this is an older, um, SMA connector that I got in here. So I actually ordered a new one, and it has a longer, it has a longer stem on it. And I'm going to try this Panda RC out. So this is a Panda RC SM. So MMCX to SMA. Panda RC. 90 uh, degree. And this is how long it is. Let's get a measurement, measurement for you. So from the MMCX to the end of the... Uh, it's 100 millimeters. Okay. Now... The one that broke, it broke because whoever made it had allowed solder to go that far down. I mean, it went, the solder went all the way down to here. So when it was in the frame and it was bending, it, it just broke. Okay. So this one here is a, a bit more flexible. So hopefully this will never last longer. But as you can see, the, the shaft sticking out is going to be significantly longer okay do you see that I hope you can see that good so that means that when you put your antenna on your on your stuff you know that should stick out far enough to where when you twist this on and you tighten it down this won't spin anymore that means it's connected nice and tight in there okay so if this is spinning, then no good. All right, we can go on for days on on little technical stuff like that, but so we'll see see what kind of quality that is. So you can see inside there. So that's SMA. All right, so we got two of those, and we got two of them. Let me get this out of your way. And I'm going to go ahead and get that switched out tonight, so I'm ready to fly him tomorrow. I'm, I'm doing my best to get out and fly every day. Even, even like yesterday, I was only able to fly one pack. Um, I, I, I got one pack in, so. All right. And then I purchased one of these. I, I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't, I just can't do the, the GoPro thing. It's just overwhelming to think to spend that kind of money just on a camera that I'm probably gonna smash because I like to I like to really get aggressive and try stupid stuff and I know I'm just gonna destroy it and I'm gonna have to pay for the warranty over and over and so but you guys had said I was actually really surprised you guys had said that you wanted to see some uh, some flight footage from me um, so I am I bought this Run Cam Mini FPV DVR. I seen Nick Burns using this, and I was kind of thinking, you know what, the the video looks pretty good, you know, because the uh, the quality. I mean, that thing's it's pretty small, and it's twenty by twenty. So as you, I don't know if you've seen on my my greatest video, I put this uh, these Maytag Maytag twenty. By 20 uh, VTX in here it's 800 milliwatt and I left plenty of room above it to put one of these in someday so that someday is coming sooner than later like I said I'm really surprised that you guys actually want to see some video footage from me uh, which which is cool you know it gets me stoked but I just couldn't stand the thought of feeding you DVR from the, my fat sharks because that's that's basically all I have right now. 
So hopefully this will do the trick and we can get some decent flight video for you so it's not obnoxious to watch. And I'll, I'll probably do a video on this, uh, installing it and setting it up and everything and wiring it. Um, I'm not going to wire this the way the manufacturer said to wire it. I'm going to wire it a little different. Um, so maybe stay tuned for that, yeah? And then I bought some stuff from Flywoo. I keep seeing this company, Flywoo. I don't know anything about them. This is the first first things I've purchased from them. And I am going to uh, unbag or unbox these two items. And kind of give them a look over, plug them into Betaflight, see how many ports they got. And you know, just kind of go through some things on them. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. But I have the Flywoo uh, VTX. And then I have the 16x16 16 16 F411. This is the flight controller ESC combination, uh, 13 amp. So this, this should be really interesting. And this is going to go into this little, this little nano uh, Armitan frame. So this the Armitan Tadpole 3 inch. So that's the build coming up on the channel. I'm going to use these iFlight Nano 1206 motors. I've already done a lot on the channel with these. Um, I wasn't a very, I wasn't a fan of these, and I'm still kind of out on the fence. I'm not sure if I'm really liking them, but I'm gonna have to give, uh, I'm gonna have to give a thumbs up to to iFlight because they did honor the two, the two motors that were vibrating because the the E clip is cut wrong um, on the shaft. They did actually send me replacements. It took, you know, a couple months, but they they arrived. They said they did what they said they were gonna do. So I'm gonna put them on. The two they sent me are super tight and feel pretty decent. So we'll see. I'm gonna run those on 3s. So I'll have this frame. So this this is all rated for 4s, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run 3s because I'm kind of thinking 3s on this motor is gonna be better. So we'll see. So that's coming up and then I have the run can Phoenix 2 I'm not sure what race day quads was doing with this box or you know this box was in a, in a pretty good packing job from from race day quads so I'm not sure when that got broken but I'm not feeling the camera right there so hopefully nothing got damaged but I'm gonna crack the seal on him and kind of go through some stuff about that I purchased the reason why I purchased this um, over the toothless I think it's the Fox here toothless the reason why is because I run its uh, bigger brother in my five inch quad and right now as far as I'm concerned and I'm telling you right now I'm a big fan of the Swift uh, 2 or Swift let's see I think it's a Swift 2 camera the CCD I really like that Swift camera with the 2.1 lens on it. But this camera, so far, the Phoenix 2, is my favorite camera. It's really clear. I like it over the uh, the Cadex Rattel. The Cadex Rattel, um, I put on this quad, and I, I, I like the Cadex Rattel. You know, a heck of a nice picture. But man, I tell you, there's something about that camera. Uh, that, that I prefer um, so I got its little brother to go into this build here so we'll see see how that goes all right enough about him and then I got a nano antenna I seen this when I went to uh, where was the uh, Dayton Ohio to the Air Force Museum uh, Kelly Stanley was uh, with Tim putting on a heck of a man that was a heck of a show there um, so the whoop races at the uh, United States Air Force Museum so much fun I, I just I had a blast well I guess that stupid thing is glued I'm not editing that out that thing's glued on you got to cut it off <laughs> so I seen these and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, Emacs makes this tiny little uh, 
and I needed some I needed some length here for even though it's like such a little tiny deal this uh, this stack is way up toward the front I don't know if you can see that or not but there's the stack mounting screws right there so the stack is from here forward so I needed some I needed some length to get over to the VTX and still make it out the back of the frame I don't fit without taking that apart huh. there we go so as you can see I needed to go farther into the frame you know it gives me more options but you can see how far that sticks out so kind of cool they got such a little tiny deal with such a long arm on it let me get a measurement of that for you because I'm probably not going to do any reviewing on the channel for this and that's the Emax Nano Antenna um, and of course it's right hand because that's all I got so the whole overall from very end to end is 80 millimeters or just shy of so 70 78 millimeters so really interested to see what kind of range I get out of that because I'm putting an RXSR in this I have one last RXSR I'm gonna put into this build and now I'm not sure yet if I'm going to run my VTX and camera off of the flight controller I may start that way but if not I have a, a Beck and this it has filtration on it it's the same one I used on my 5 inch. It's, it's literally the size of my middle fingernail. And it outputs 12 volts. And it's super clean voltage. So I may end up sticking that in the back here. I'm not sure yet. So that's kind of the things coming up on the channel here. Get you some flight footage and then build this super small nano build. With these like non-aggressive props you can see these 16s very very light so it should be pretty cool and I'm gonna put a beeper in this thing too so hopefully with the flywoo lighting I don't know if you're familiar with flywoo I am not but I'm going to familiarize myself but I seen on there they have a bunch of LEDs all over it so this thing ought to light up pretty good uh, I do most of my flying at night or in the evening after the you know the kids get rested and everything so we'll see see what happens if you have any questions about all this gear uh, let me know uh, I'll try to answer some questions but I'm gonna do some of the stuff with some unboxing unbagging and I'll do a build video start to finish so stay tuned for that if you're not a subscriber you might want to subscribe to see that I'm gonna I'm going to completely build it. I'm going to go into beta flight. I'm going to set up the model and the transmitter I'm gonna, and the whole nine. So I appreciate your time. I really do. So thanks for checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And give it a thumbs down if you didn't. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.